Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. We're going to have a look now at some time series data and exploring the trend in this second example. So this example is a little more detailed than the first one. So the variable we'll be investigating this time is the number of people in employment in New Zealand, and that's measured in millions of people. And we notice the data there has been collected monthly. So let's have a look at our graph. So the data starts in July 2004 and continues until February 2012. And we've got our trend line as our solid black line through the middle. So that trend line starts in July 2004 with an average of 1.81 million people employed. And the number of people employed increases to around 1.92 million people by February 2012. We can further go into more detail and connect some of our research and tell the story. So when I've done some research, I looked at the population size in New Zealand. So I'm going to write a little explanation and connect these ideas together. So my research suggests that a pop possible explanation for this rise in the number of people employed may be due to the increase in population size in New Zealand over this time period. Statistics New Zealand has census numbers that show that the number of people in New Zealand's population in 2001, so just prior to the start of the study, was 3,820,749 people. And this had risen to 4,242,000 people in 48 by the census in 2013. So as there was an increase in the number of people living in New Zealand, it's likely that the number of people employed also increased. As with more people, you've got more um, groceries that are required, more houses that are required. So there's often a lot of things that come with an increase in population. Now let's go and have a look at the gradient. So we can, looking at this graph, we can see the data spread out over seven years and six months. So turning this into a common unit, this is a total of 91 months. So if I calculate the gradient, I've got the number of people employed and that increased from 1.81 million to 1.92 million. So subtract those numbers. Then I'm going to divide that by our time period, which is 91 months. And this gives an average increase in the number of people employed of 1,209 people per month on average over this time period. So that's how much the numbers increased each month on average. We now want to have a look at what we call a piecewise function. So if we look at closer at the trend line, we can see that the trend pattern makes some big changes during the entire period of time. So we're going to break these into sections, usually a maximum of three or four. And this is called a piecewise graph. So we can see in our graph that there are three clear sections, one going from July 2004 until May 2008. The second section goes from May 2008 until July 2010. And the third section goes from July 2010 to February 2000, or sorry, October 2010 to February 2012. So we're going to look at each of these sections one at a time now. So in section one, we can say from July 2004, the average number of people employed in New Zealand was around 1.81 million and this rose to approximately 1.96 million people employed by May 2008. Now let's have a look at section 2. So from May 2008 the average number of people employed in New Zealand was around 1.96 million people and this rose to this dropped to an average of 1.88 million by October 2010. Now let's look at section 3. So from July 2000, sorry, from October 2010, the average number of people employed um, rose from an average of 1.88 million to around 1.92 million jobs by February 2012. 
So further extension on this is to be able to go and calculate the gradient for each of these sections separately. And in addition to that, connect some research and tell me the story of what is happening in the country that may have caused this change and trend into these three sections.